people feel as if there's a huge obstacle between what they want and manifesting that desire. And if you're frustrated that you aren't creating what you want, it's time to explore your manifestation obstacles. Your inability to create what you desire is likely tied to a consistent thought about why you can't have it. And that means your beliefs comprise the obstacle. And you've probably heard something similar before, like, like you know, it's, it's because it's really common for people who aren't creating their desires to be told things like, you don't believe you, you, know, you deserve what you want. You think something bad will happen if you manifest your desire or you don't believe you can create what you want. The thing is, we're all creators. And that's my belief. We're all creators. And unfortunately or fortunately for you, your thoughts are creative. So a thought you think often becomes a belief and beliefs impact everything related to that thought, including your ability to manifest. Metaphysics has shown the, cre the creative ability of our thoughts. Uh, more recently, um, psychology and quantum physics and brain science have proven that thoughts impact our reality. So it makes sense that if you think a thought often enough to turn it into a belief, that belief is going to impact what you create. So beliefs are related to identity. One of my favorite topics, <laughs> identity. Beliefs are related to your identity, who you are, believe you are. And, 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 you know, those beliefs then impact how you see yourself. So if you believe you, uh, uh, you never manifest what you want, then you're going to act as if you're someone who never creates anything. After all, that's who you believe you are, someone who never manifests what you want, right? While I was having a meeting with my marketing coach discussing marketing, and I began to consider the connection between manifestation belief and identity. And I realized that every time I market my products or services, I think my efforts won't pay off. So this belief is, is buried pretty deeply. It's not like I'm thinking about it all the time while I'm in a launch or whatever, um, but it's in the background. And the belief that I'm someone whose marketing efforts don't pay off lowers my vibrational frequency. And that happens because thinking the thought that I'm a lousy marketer makes me feel crappy. <laughs> and negative emotions, you know, lower my energetic vibration. And it's hard to manifest anything when your frequency is low. Um, it's difficult to create what I want people investing in my products and my services when I feel discouraged and defeated, right? Selling requires a positive outlook. People sense your energy. And so, you know, you're attracted to someone with confidence and with passion. But what makes selling anything really challenging is vibrating at a low frequency because no one's attracted to that sort of energy. <laughs> Just think about someone you know who's negative or who always complains. You know, do you want to be around them very much? Does it feel good to be in their presence? Or would you buy from them? Not likely. But someone positive and confident and passionate, that person's energy is high and it's attractive. And the likelihood of investing in whatever they're selling is pretty high. Plus, I believe, you know, if I, if I go back to my marketing efforts, right, if I believe my marketing efforts aren't going to pay off, I'm going to recreate that scenario repeatedly because my thoughts are creative. And, and that's even if I'm not consciously thinking the thought. And I'm, if I'm feeling lousy, um, you know, feeling that, that, that lousy sense of, you know, oh, despite my best efforts, um, nothing's going to turn out any differently with this launch or marketing period than it has before, then that's exactly what I'm going to create because my thoughts are creative. The thought is there. The belief is active. And not only do I believe that it's true about me, I believe it's who I am. You know, so it's some, I'm someone whose marketing efforts don't pay off. That's what I'm believing. So that's what I create every single time until I change my belief and I change my identity. So while reading through comments here on YouTube, I was really surprised by how many people believe they struggle with manifestation. Not that I don't struggle with it sometimes or haven't in the past or have in the past. Of course I have. I'm always honest and, you know, tell you 
where I feel challenged as well. And sometimes I still struggle with creating what I desire. But I was surprised how, how at, you know, what some of the people were saying, that they thought their efforts were thwarted before creating what they desired, that they never create what they desire. Um, and, and things like, um, I always create the opposite of what I want, or it always seems, you know, that I'm about to create it and, and then something happens and I don't. The thing is that these aren't just thoughts and beliefs, they're statements of identity. That's what became so clear to me. So if you're one of the people I responded to and said, change your identity, this is why. Okay, because these are, you know, to say, it always seems as if I'm about to create what I want and then something happens and I don't, that is, then you're saying, that's who I am. That's my experience. That's my belief that that's what happens and that's who I am, someone who this happens to. There, you believe you're the person who cannot create or bring your manifestation efforts into reality. So if you're one of those people, you can probably relate. But even if you're not one of the people I responded to, maybe you can relate. And if so, I want you to know this. As long as you have those kind of beliefs or similar beliefs to those about yourself, you can't manifest anything but an experience of an experience of that reality, right? So as long as you have the belief, like, I can't manifest, right? You can't, you can't manifest anything but an experience of that belief that you cannot manifest anything. You're going to always create your belief. You're going to continue being, in terms of identity, you're going to continue being someone who either, you know, can't manifest what they want, manifest the opposite of what they want, doesn't ever see, you know, see, sees themselves get so close and then it doesn't happen. That's who you'll continue to be and that's what you'll continue to manifest. So what's the remedy to this kind of perpetual existence, right? How do you climb over or remove your huge manifestation obstacles? You have to be someone who's a creator, be a manifester. Be someone whose efforts to create result in creation. Identity. When you choose an identity like I am a creator or I am someone who manifests easily, your beliefs are going to align with that identity. And first you're going to believe that's who you are. I'm, I'm a creator or I'm someone who creates easily. Second, you're going to believe you can do what a person with that identity can do, create or manifest easily. And that means your thoughts are aligned with your identity. And as, as I said before, thoughts are created. So your beliefs are created. And when your beliefs and identity are aligned, you're going to manifest in alignment with both of them. So if you believe you're a creator, and you also, then you also believe creators create, then you can create. And that's your belief. And as a result, you're going to create what you desire. You're creating from your choice about who to be now, in this moment, and in the future. You're not manifesting from the past or who you used to be. That's what you've been doing. All your old beliefs and your and identities are based on past experiences. And they caused you to manifest based on past experiences, not on who you're being now, in the present. So if we go back to my, my example about marketing, because my past marketing experiences have not yielded the desired results, I have believed I'm a terrible marketer, something along those lines. And that's been my identity. I am a terrible marketer. And my beliefs have aligned with that. I'm a terrible marketer. My marketing efforts don't pay off. But that identity is based on my past experiences, not my current or future ones, right? I'm, right now in this moment, I may not even be marketing, right? But even if I was, it's a different experience, different situation than in the past. So as long as I perpetuate the identity, my past identity, it's a terrible marketer, and its related beliefs, it, that identity is going to continue to influence my current attempts to market my programs and my services. So my identity becomes a significant obstacle to manifesting what I want, as do the beliefs that go with that identity. 
the two together, identity and belief, stand between me and what I want to create. The same goes for you. So to remove that huge obstacle, I have to, speaking again for myself, I have to change my belief about who I am, my identity. I have to tell to, to sell more products and services when I market. I have to be someone who sells easily and naturally, for example. Or I can choose to be an effective and successful marketer. That's who I am. I am a successful and, and uh, effective marketer. So what would that person think? Maybe I always meet my sales and marketing goals, or my launches are always successful. So suppose your past experiences, experiences that you get close to creating your desires, but never manifest them. In that case, you believe you are bad at manifesting or someone who can't create your desires. And you think that's who you are. And you live out the truth of that identity. So by now you realize that your beliefs and identity are considerable obstacles to manifesting what you want. But you can choose to change them. And that removes the barrier, removes the obstacle. So spend some time listening to what you say about your attempts to create what you want. And then realize that your words express what you believe. And that belief is based on past experience. And know your beliefs indicate who you're being in this moment, your identity, even though that belief and that identity is based on the past. Who do you want to be now? What type of person would be able to create your desires? Decide to be that person in the present. Adopt the beliefs that that person would have and stay in the present. Then watch as your ability to manifest improves. And if it doesn't improve, then revisit your beliefs and your identity. Who have you been? What have you believed? What have you created? Your manifestations will be linked directly to your beliefs and identity every single time. So change your identity, change your beliefs, change your ability to manifest what you want, remove the huge obstacle that stands between you and creating what you want. There you have it. Can you see how your beliefs and identity can be huge obstacles to your ability to manifest your desires? I'd love to know. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about this video. Ask me any questions. I will reply. <laughs> and um, I hope this has been helpful because thinking about it was super helpful to me. And, um, you know, I really love the comments because it got me thinking along with my conversation with my coach. Anyway, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think, whether you can now see that your beliefs and your identity can be huge obstacles to your ability to manifest your desire and that they're impacting what you're, what you're creating. If you've never met me before, I'm Nina Amir. I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I am a in intuitive transformational catalyst uh, and a certified high performance coach. And what I love doing is having these conversations. These conversations jazz me, and I like helping people realize that they are twofold beings. Actually, my teacher would tell me we're threefold beings. I usually say, you know, just we're, we're human beings having a physical, spiritual, I mean, I'm sorry, we're spiritual beings having a human or physical experience. We are also soul and spirit as well as physical, but let's just stick with this twofold thing that we are, spiritual and human physical, right? And so the problem is that the human physical part gets in the way of the spiritual side. And so if you want to create, for instance, you have to learn how to get your physical side, your human side out of the way. You have to change your thoughts, change your identities, change your beliefs, let go of the past, right? And so that's the personal growth side of what I, I do with people. And then there's the spiritual growth side, which is all about being you know, a manifester, being spiritual, being, um, you know, all the, all the kind of woo-woo esoteric stuff, like I love talking about. But, but I combine both personal and spiritual growth because we need a holistic approach to our transformation and to achieving our human potential. We can't achieve our human or our spiritual potential unless we're working on both. So 
that's what I do. I help people get out of their own way. I help them step into being, being the type of person who can do the things to create what they desire. And I do that in the inspired creator community. So if you're interested in, in that kind of conversation and in changing from the inside out, click on the link above for the inspired creator community and become an inspired creator. What does that mean? That means you're going to be more in spirit in your spiritual side um, without uh, giving up the human physical side. We can't do that anyway, but it, it's kind of like, you know, the old um, be in the world, but not of it. So it's about learning to be in your spiritual self or tapped into your spiritual self enough that you can um, manifest what you want, create what you want in the physical realm. Inspired creator in spirit, right? Inspired creator. So if that's of interest to you, click on the link above and I'll see you inside the Inspired Creator community. It would be my honor to have you there. Until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.